Hey guys, Nova Joe here. This time I come to you with a review for a game on the Wii U called Zombie Defense. It is a game put out by Taeon and it is a real time strategy uh, tower defense type game and it is awesome. Uh, wanted to bring it to you as one of the games for Halloween and uh, just tell you about it and just how awesome it is. So let's get into it. It's so much fun, I don't even know where to begin. So. Uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at the upgrades that you can possibly get. Uh, this game is chock full of different upgrades that you can get for your soldiers. Uh, you can uh, upgrade your team size, like how many you can put on the field. You can upgrade the damage of their weapons. You can purchase sentry guns. Uh, purchase different types of soldiers like trappers, survivalists, mercenaries, uh, which come with shotguns and uh, Magnum revolvers, uh, dynamite, uh, you got your Tesla troopers who uh, shoot out these, uh, use Tesla guns, basically like lightning guns, and they uh, bounce from one enemy to the next. You have uh, rank increases, you have supply, uh, oh, supply drops that you can either increase the amount of supplies you get, and the supplies are hand grenades. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We've got... Um, skills you can purchase uh, different skills to decrease the amount of money it costs you to uh, purchase a skill as you're as you're playing the game uh, within the maps there are APCs there are uh, bulldozers and by purchasing these upgrades it allows you to use those within the map um, guys there is so many upgrades here's airstrikes um, there's just so many upgrades that this game gives you numerous numerous options to uh, flesh out the strategy that you want to use against your enemies uh, now that you've seen the upgrades we're going to take a look at some actual gameplay so i can explain how that works you come to a map screen here uh, this map consists of 30 plus levels and each level consists of a certain amount of waves once you have completed those waves you have essentially beat the mission however uh, once you complete those required waves, it gives you the option of playing an additional five waves, which are harder um, and tougher, come with more enemies uh, and different types of enemies. Um, after you've completed those five rounds, you can then, it'll give you the option to do another five rounds. So I believe it's infinite. I believe you can just keep going up five more rounds each time. But I will tell you this, if you aren't uh, basically stocked up on your upgrades, you're going to be in a world of hurt. So... Uh, just be careful of that because if you do choose to to increase an additional five missions and you die You lose all the previous ones that you've accomplished even if you completed the prerequisites to beat the level If you choose to move on to an additional five past the prerequisites and you die you lose it all I gotta start over again So anyway guys uh, basically you have to play this game on the Wii U gamepad um, it will display on your television, so you can watch it there. But the game requires the, the touch screen. It requires the stylus or your finger. Uh, and everything has to be selected with that. You start the map. Uh, it, it will show you an isometric view. And basically, once you're in that view, you just take your stylus and touch one of the green circles or uh, the yellow circles there. And that's where you can place your turrets, your troops, um, and the maps are actually a pretty nice size. And as you can see, this map has APCs, which once I achieve $2,000, I can uh, choose to purchase, which will then be an automatic turret. Basically, somebody will be inside of it and uh, be blasting zombies and whatnot. Uh, uh, each one of these little circle spots can be upgraded, uh, made tougher so that any troops that you put there will do more damage. And basically the game will stay just like this until I place somebody so let's go ahead and place a trooper and and I will show you how this works so I'm touching a spot on the gamepad brings up a little menu and as you can see I already have uh, a nice little selection of uh, troops that I can pick so I'm my starting money is a thousand now granted I've upgraded that some you actually start out with like 300 or something uh, but I've upgraded so I'm gonna pick a AK-47 trooper so you pick it select yes your troop drops in as soon as you drop your troop in the game takes off and you will see well, it's kind of dark I picked a dark mission here but uh, once you uh, drop a trooper down the zombies will start coming in so 
if you want to speed it up a little bit since the zombies kind of move slow here in the beginning you have the option of clicking a drop down box up here and increasing the speed with uh, the plus or, or decreasing the speed with the minus. Well, as you can see here, uh, the zombies, here they come. So I'm not going to increase it. They're coming within range of the trooper and he's blasting them. So he's shooting them down. And as he shoots them down, each uh, zombie is worth a certain amount of money. You then take that money and can purchase new upgrades such as uh, going over here and uh, let's see right here we'll drop in a whoop oh that was mission one complete so we'll start mission two here and I'll show you what I mean so right here then you can drop in a trooper and or not a trooper but a, I'm gonna pick a flame turret and then you can adjust that flame turret and I'm gonna increase the speed of this wave up to three that's as fast as you can go you see how fast them zombies are coming in look how fast they're moving there and so it'll it'll speed up the rounds for you so you can rack up as much money and and uh set your troops up however you want and then just try to survive as as long as possible i recommend in the beginning uh to basically do the re requisite waves and don't go any further than that until you've earned enough money to do some upgrades you all to see this game in full force i have uh, played a level until i have managed to uh, earn enough money to fill every spot with soldiers with flame turrets with uh, machine gun turrets i've activated uh, the bulldozers on this level so you can see what a uh, match looks like in full force um, if if this match doesn't show you how awesome this game is then i don't know what else to do but because you're not going to be able to hear me i'm just going to have to be quiet here because the gunfire and uh, just basically all the action is going to be so loud you're not going to be able to hear anything i have to say so anyway guys here is zombie defense in all its glory guys that was zombie defense that was a whole uh, wave there it was the the last wave of the prerequisite waves for that mission so uh, anyway guys I hope you have enjoyed what you've seen uh, it's a game that really surprised me I happened to see it on 
a Wii U game sale. It was like $3.99. Full price is $7.99. So any of those or any of you out there who have a Wii U, guys, I cannot recommend this game enough. It has been so addicting, so much fun, and it was well worth the $4 that I spent on it. It has given me more enjoyment uh, than some full price purchases that I've made on games. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. And as always, take care, God bless, and keep on gaming.